Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, a little bit later in the day, it's almost uh, one o'clock. I just had, and uh, I'm not used to this at all, but I will tell you this. I'm just un, you know, what the fuck. Let me un, let me unfuck the flag. And I, I keep uh, my uh, heritage, which is Scottish. I keep the Scottish flag underneath and below the American flag. But I have to tell you this. I just had uh, two gentlemen come by in an unmarked uh, SUV, blacked out SUV. I think it was a, a Denali. They were both in suits and ties. And I was here. Um, and, and, and here I'm just trying to pimp the car <clears throat> I'm going to take my wife out to Victoria's a little bit later, and we're going to have a nice meal. Uh, it's just something I do midweek. And um, they pulled over in front of the garbage can and blocked part of the driveway. And I was over here. Yeah, I'll show you where I was at. I was over there at the bench working on something. Let me shut the fucking door. And so I hear them, and you hear the you you hear the doors go clunk clunk, and so I come over here, and there's two guys in uh, um, suits and ties, and they get to about they get to about look I'm telling you they get to about here in here in the driveway, and I was like, what can I do for you? And the first thing out of their mouths were, and I'm standing here next to my car, and they're standing there. They're like, Are you armed? And I just started laughing. And I was like, do you have a warrant? And they're like, are you armed? And I'm like, do you have a warrant? Are you armed? And I'm like, and uh, this is, you know what? Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you exactly what I said. And I don't want that. And he was like, get the fuck off my property. Do you have a warrant? And they just, are you armed? Are you armed? Anyways, uh, I'm going to roll the flag up. I don't want it wrapping around and getting too crazy. But <clears throat> I think <clears throat> a lot of people, a lot of, god damn it, a lot of the, uh, especially the federal officers, believe that the rest of us here are beneath them. <clears throat> and again, I told them, at this point in time, I'm invoking my uh, First and Fourth Amendment rights. Um, if you don't have a warrant, get the fuck off my property. And that's exactly what I said. I did say, get the fuck off my property. And they asked, you know, and they were I just... And they asked one more time, are you armed? And I was like, get the fuck off of my property. I don't have anything. Anyways, and I, and I put on, and I told them I was recording them. I wasn't smart enough at the time to record them or anything else like that. So I called uh, uh, Jeep Darnell, not Jim Darnell. Jim's very busy, man. He's an older guy, so I don't fuck with those guys. Anyway. <clears throat> So evidently, evidently, somehow or another, I'm a lead to something that has happened. But uh, guys, I guarantee you, I, I don't, I'm not a fucking bad guy anymore. I'm not trying to be a badass boss in this space or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not connected. I don't. I'm not in debt. I don't owe anybody anything. Uh, listen, guys, I am, I, but do you ever feel like a fucking mushroom? And I think they're trying to treat me like a fucking mushroom. And if you don't know what a mushroom is, how do they grow mushrooms? They're in the dark and they throw shit on them. So, again, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. But uh, for some reason, that's my third visit today.
April 26th, January, February, March, April, April 26th. And it's now um, almost one o'clock. It's like 1250, 1255. And I don't know why the local police department thought it would be okay or that I would quake and shake like a little schoolgirl because they sent uh, two guys in a blacked out Denali. <laughs> you should have seen their face. You should have seen their face when I wouldn't answer their questions. And I was like, hey, did you get a warrant? If you don't have a warrant, get the fuck off my property. They were like, what? Are you armed? <laughs> what they're looking for is called, I, I, I'm not trying not to fuck this word up. Existential. Ex, um, something where... Um, Life and death is going to happen, or if they don't enter into the area and do what they have to do, something bad's going to happen. So, extension. God damn it, I can't fucking remember the word. I don't fucking care. I don't know what the fuck happened. Um, but again, I will simply say this. It's important. That you, if you can afford it, have a good criminal, not a fucking a criminal defense attorney on your side. We don't talk to the cops. We don't tell them anything. They do not have more rights than you do. The only thing I would ask you to do is be as polite as you can and don't escalate the situation. And if you have an opportunity, like my fucking dumbass, I should have recorded. But actually, they caught me by surprise. Um, so it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I can tell you that things in Juarez, Mexico, and when they drop Title 42, there are hundreds of thousands of migrants that are going to come screaming across the border and things down here are going to get rough. I, I, I don't, we need good people, but we need to make sure that the people we're getting are the, who they say they are. Uh, and I'll leave that as it is. Uh, Love you guys. Some of the comments you guys give are fucking awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't want to waste your time. But we don't fucking talk to the cops. The less you say, the better off you are. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason because you should listen twice as much as you speak. And you must know your rights. You must at least have a comprehensive, and I mean an in and out, can recite it from Batum, your First Amendment and your Fourth Amendment rights. And if you can't do that, you're a victim. And I don't want any of you to be a fucking victim. A fucking victim. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourself. No one has more rights than you do. They don't have the right to come get you unless they have overwhelming, not subjective, objective evidence to say you're a fucking bad guy. But they will definitely come to your house and try to ruin your life to get ahead. So let me, let me I'm not going to get off on that tangent. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourself. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. No, don't fucking talk to the cops. You have the right to remain fucking silent, so use that. Bye-bye.